The United States uses 150 billion gallons of gasoline a year times three dollars, four hundred fifty billion dollars. The Institute for Emerging Issues is a public policy think and do tank um, located at North Carolina State University. The Institute's mission is really to focus on the continued competitiveness of North Carolina. We have a range of activities in which we engage, but in many ways the Emerging Issues Forum is by far the largest and the one with the most visibility. It's really our opportunity to take a range of policy options that we have developed with the help of diverse stakeholders and lay them out in front of North Carolina for vetting and then to determine which of those policy options represent the highest impact opportunities for North Carolina going forward. Well, the Institute for Emerging Issues is probably the premier public policy institute in North Carolina. Uh, I started it with the university way back, I think, in 1985, right after I came out as governor after my first two terms. It, it started out as a big annual forum, and we've had, this is the 23rd of those, and we've had the top leaders from all of America over those years, Carl Sagan one year, Bill Clinton, you just name it. They've all been here to NC State under the auspices of this forum. Uh, this is the largest attendance we've ever had. Standing room only in the back, we figure about 1,100 people are here. And if you look at the topic, you know, we've, dis we've declared that 2008 is the year of energy at NC State. And so with the forum focused on energy and with the array of speakers that we have from business and industry and government, I think we couldn't have hit it better in terms of a topical statement that everyone's interested in and that we know we have to do something about. I think it's incredibly important to unleash the enormous intellectual capital that resides in our universities, particularly public universities, for meeting pressing needs of a state. We do all of the cutting edge research at institutions like NC State and yet somehow that research rarely ever has an opportunity to inform public policy. An organization like the Institute helps to connect those two worlds.